Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I'd like to show you how you can play uh, Android games such as uh, PUBG Mobile um, from your smartphone still, but with a keyboard, a mouse, and a big screen. So the first thing that you need to do this is to have a, um, a phone that has video over USB-C. Here, I'm using a Honor View 20, which has obviously this capacity, and you have plenty of other models from Honor, Huawei, Samsung, LG, HTC. A lot of phones have uh, this video over USB-C. So the second thing that you need is to have, well, obviously a keyboard, a screen and a mouse, but also you need a USB-C hub that will take the USB-C signal and split it in several signal. HDMI, you can have Ethernet, you can have SD card reader, USB connectors, and so on. So here I'm using Keydock, which is a, a mechanical keyboard with uh, <coughs> the, the advantage of having a USB-C hub hidden inside. So this keyboard is specially designed to dock smartphones. So as you can see, as soon as I connect my, uh, my smartphone to Keydock, and then I can just put it here, it will launch automatically the desktop interface. So the video over USB-C just launch automatically. So, and here you have an Android desktop with all your games. So you can play pretty much any Android games. So here's PUBG Mobile, I will just show you quickly. You can move around the window, maximize the window, come on, <laughs> minimize the window also, and they will be on the taskbar, and you can full screen the window too. And then you can play to a PUBG exactly as you would um, on the computer actually, to the, desktop, to the Steam version of uh, PUBG. You have, the, you have the mouse that works, you have uh, the keyboard input that al also works. And so you can do pretty much anything. So well, that's pretty much it. Uh, the big advantage of playing with a mouse and a keyboard is of course it's much more precise. You can, well, you, you, it's much easier to play. And when you're done, you can just remove the cable and you can still uh, play your party. So I, here you go, you can see it's the keyboard is working out, out of the box and you can s configure the keyboard uh, mapping also if you want to change the buttons and so on. So, uh, well, that's pretty much it. I will just show you, uh, I will just give you a closer look to the docking station I'm using right now. So it's called Keydock. It's a project that I just launched on Kickstarter. So the idea is that it's a mechanical keyboard which has all the necessary connectors in order to be the perfect docking station for smartphones. So you have a lot of different connectors. You have a SD card reader, you have four USB connectors, you have a headphone jack, here you have an Ethernet connection, that's very handy because you have a full speed Ethernet instead of just the Wi-Fi. You have VGA in HDMI, this is for screens, VGA for all screens if you don't have HDMI one, power input, and then at the back you have stereo speakers, so you can enjoy stereo music, and here you can also add a SSD drive, so if you want to store movies on your smartphones, for your smartphone you can store movies on the on the SSD drive, you can add one terabyte uh, of, of storage and then access it when you're docked on key, key dock. So, well, that's pretty much it. There's also different features, but you can check them out on uh, Kickstarter if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.